The Mahindra's got about 3,000 k's on it now. I'm just running it in. I'll show you how I'm doing that at some stage. But I knew I needed a roof rack. And then I remembered, you know, I had one. It was the front runner one that had been on Milo forever. I mean, through some amazing trips. If nothing else, the roof rack has been there and done that. You know what I'm saying? And I thought, hey, I might resurrect it. And then I knew that it had a bent leg, you know. But I also knew that the bolts underneath the little rubber caps weren't too bad. Unfortunately, because it had been sitting next to the container for a couple of years, it also was full of ants. But once I got the ants out, I mean, this is a beaut thing about the front runners, eh? I pulled it to bits, just pulled the bolts out and pulled out that bad bent slat, got myself a new slat, fitted it in, and it wasn't too hard at all. I mean, you've got to love stuff like this. This is... This is stuff you can really play with, isn't it, you know? Apart from all the other stuff you can get from these racks. So, in she goes, a little bit of mucking around, one new slat amongst a whole lot. And don't forget, you know, this was hit by a branch. That's what bent it. Even with my great backside up on the rack jumping around, I haven't managed to bend anything yet. So I thought, well, gee, save myself some money, fix up the old rack. It wasn't too hard, I just lobbed in. Pretty soon I've got it almost done. Yes, I know it doesn't look a million bucks, but if you sat out in the grass next to the container for, uh, oh, gee, probably a few years now, you probably wouldn't look so good either. But this rack has had some experience. So pretty soon I'm setting up the AEG to, you, know, you just get such perfect torque with these things, you really do, just so that I can torque all the bolts around the rack to exactly the same fairly light setting and... I've got it up on the roof. It's away. It's all ready to go. So seeing as I was so sharp, I went shopping for some floor mats. Now, I found these Hulk 4x4. They're made out of some sort of silicon, I think, in the rubber. Big, spacious, filled all the gaps. Hey, the Mars getting there. One little step closer to some Outback Adventure. All I've got to do now is convince the handbrake that, you know, she wants to come bush again. I mean, she's always enjoyed it. Ha, ha, ha. And that's when it wasn't even comfortable. Let's see how we go. Centre country trip coming up.